Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. This is Pink Tiger. So today I'm coming with a different game. So I decided to play Zero Ops. I'm sure everyone, well, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this game in the App Store. Uh, I came across this game when it was in its beta stage. So maybe like a year ago or something. And it was only like a couple months, I believe, that it had its like alpha test and whatnot so I played it a couple times gave it a go I haven't played it enough maybe like three or four times and I must say uh, it's a game that mm, it's gonna take some time to get used to the controls only because there is a bit of a re there is some like recoil when you're playing the game um, so this is a third person shooter game I do prefer first person but that's not really any any uh, big big deal. It's just something you can get used to, I guess. In terms of the gameplay, without being too critical, because I know that this this game is very very early in its stage, and it can only get it can only get better, you know. And it's not really made by like big big companies, so I'm trying to give it a fair review. So. It, it does take me some time to kill people sometimes, like you can see here. It takes some getting used to. It won't just kill them very quickly. Well, it does sometimes, but maybe that's just me having to work on my aim and stuff. I struggled with the recoil in the game, uh, even running around and stuff. It's not, it's not as clean and nice and smooth as some other games. But again, it is very... It's, an, it's a new game, so I can't really complain too much, but hopefully they do improve and get better because I think the game does have potential. Sometimes I'm just like running around shooting headlessly, but that's just me getting used to the game again. Uh, the game has like a couple, so it has a pistol, shotgun, SMG, rifles, all that stuff, but it doesn't have multiple different ones like you'd see in other big games, like it won't have like five different pistols, five different um, SMGs, it just has like one one of each. I think, I haven't explored too well, but I think you can, um, I don't know if you can upgrade it, don't come around, but I think you may be able to like change things in your weapon. I know you can ch add some attachments, but it's just like one or two as I've seen. So maybe they can they can add things like that to the game to improve it a bit more. I died like numerous times in this game, but I did. We did win. Eventually, you got 17 kills, but it was it, it, it's harder than it looks. Maybe it's easier for some of you guys. I don't know, but it did seem a bit harder than it looked. Um, I went through. I'd say the. The game itself, like here on the home screen, it looks very well made, I think. Like when you look at it, you think it's going to be a really, really thought out game. So they did put effort into the design, I guess. Uh, there's a couple maps that you can choose from. And uh, I think like three or four modes, etc. So they had... They also had the guns that I went through. So here you can see there's only like one gun of each. Maybe they'll change that in the future, but that's not really a big deal. You can uh, add like a couple of attachments and stuff, but that's it for me. That was my gameplay. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I hope that you can leave a comment and let me know if you do play this game. I've only I've seen a couple of people play whilst I do play the game, but it'll be good to know if any of you guys do play this or enjoy playing the game or even any tips and stuff, but Hope you enjoy it guys and I'll see you in the next video.